hey canvases welcome back to my channel and if you're new please hit the subscribe button below yeah so this is my 26th birthday custom wig made by yours truly this was some 613 hair that i colored layered and curled into this popping wig Stone cap this is my favorite wig cap because your hair is able to breathe with this cap but it also has the tight elastic band now to the specs of my hair i have three bundles of 613 hair this is silky straight hair i ordered a 18 no i ordered a 16 18 20 inch bundle but i measured these bundles and i actually received two 20 inches and about a 17 inch so this is what i have and then i have a frontal now the frontal that they gave me is pretty short and the ends aren't as good as the bundles and the frontal is 12 inches it is pre-plugged. It is constructed nicely. I want to say it's a very light brown lace. I wouldn't say it's trans all the way transparent because I do see a tint of color to it. But it is pre-plugged and is nicely made. So here I'm just placing my frontal on the cap. And when I place my frontal, I normally like to go about an inch to an inch and a half over the front of the cap. That way my wig just fits properly onto my head and um, I just have enough frontal space with my edges and my hairline and everything. So now that I have that all tacked down and in place how I like it, I'm gonna begin sewing the edges of the frontal and also the back of the frontal down to my wig cap. And I like to do this like in really small stitches close together just so that my frontal is very secure and flat so that when I do my final track, that it just lays seamlessly. <laughs>
going to be using some Adore Colors in Pink Blush and Crimson. And I also have a bottle of Electric Yellow by Kiss. And I'm just going to be mixing the yellow and the red to make an orange shade because I didn't buy an orange. And yeah, you guys, I'm just placing this color at random. Um, each parting space that I do is going to be a different color so that when it all falls together, it's just going to be like a color melt scheme. So um, I'm just massaging the color into the hair because I do not want any pale blonde shades to peek through at all. I want this color to be vibrant and popping. So I'm taking the time to do it in small sections, adding extra color to make sure that is the hair is saturated fully. And I'm just rubbing and massaging that in. And another thing that I'm doing is also making sure that I color the wefts. The wefts are also 613 blonde and I don't want that peeking through my wig at all. So I'm making sure I apply color at the top of the track also. And as I stated you guys, I'm not placing color in any direct seam. I'm just placing it. Like honestly, whatever brush I pick up first, I'm placing it as long as like two colors aren't back to back. Like I don't want to do two pinks back to back and two reds back to back. So I am making sure that I alternate colors, but I'm not using any certain guide. To say hello, hello. If I were in his place, I know I would have kissed her slow. So as I'm coloring my frontal, I am taking smaller sections just because I want more color in the front. And I'm also staying away from the lace because I don't want to dye my lace up. So this is the finished look after the color is all placed. Now that's a frontal. So all I did was add some big curls to it with a little bit of hairspray. And I'm taking my wide tooth comb and I'm going to go ahead and comb out some of the curls just to add a little bit more body and bounce to it. And that's pretty much it you guys. So I showed you how I make my wig start to finish. I hope this tutorial was very easy for you to pay attention to. If not, leave a comment below and I will work on critiquing my videos and making them more suitable for my viewers. But I appreciate everyone for watching and be sure to thumbs up this video. Thank you.
standing in the street alone, alone, alone. Her head was down, face locked onto the phone.